hey guys and welcome back to my channel okay okay i'm coming back with a hair video you guys have been asking me about how i do my wigs how i do my hair i have like maybe one or two hair videos on my channel but i really want to do them more often because I love doing my hair and you guys always see me with a different hairstyle on TikTok. I just put up a Q&A on my Instagram and then one of you guys were asking me like next time when I do a wig can I record it? And this is that video. The only reason I feel like why I don't really do wig installs. I think it just takes two minutes for me to actually like do a wig install. Like it is very effortless. But I will try to be more in depth and detail for you guys. You guys could have that information and everything. But today I am going to be installing a synthetic wig. I usually do synthetic wigs anyway. This wig I actually already installed before. I think I had this wig probably like a month ago. So I just freshened up the lace and everything. So yeah, we're just gonna reinstall that wig today. As much as I love my wigs and my synthetic wigs, I don't like when they be acting synthetic. I'm gonna be showing you guys my wig. This is my wig. I know it doesn't look like much. I did say that I have used this and installed this wig before, so it's not in its like prettiest form. But girl, when I first got it, yes. And trust me, after this, after this wig is on my head, you will see why I'm gonna reinstall this wig. This is probably one of my favorite synthetic wigs, like ever. So this is the wig. I don't know how long is it, like up to my lower back, and I'm like five three, five four. Okay, first of all. Yes, there's a little hole in my lace. It's okay, it's fine, okay? Let's just not discriminate. Yeah, I don't know what type of lace this really is. I don't know if it's like a Swiss lace. Um, Usually for synthetic wigs, they they do come with Swiss laces. I mean, you get what, what you pay for. I, I don't know what to tell you, Shay. But anyway, we're gonna install this wig pretty soon. But of course, first I have to prep my actual hair. So underneath, I already like braided up my hair, my natural hair. It's not in cornrows though, and I'm gonna tell y'all why in a second. Yeah, so I didn't actually cornrow my hair because of the simple fact that when I cornrow my hair, it just creates unnecessary tension within my scalp. Who likes that? Who who wants that for their natural hair? No, I still like my hair. I don't want to go balding, so I just put it into like these like flats, and as long as it's flat, and it's flat when my wig come on too, like I'm good. I have no complaints not at all okay so we're just gonna use this as a regular regular wig cap child I'm gonna push it back just a tad bit just so I could have that space to like lay the lace like on my skin you know what I'm saying so yeah I just wanted that barrier between my natural hair and the wig because I don't know I feel like that's necessary yeah, and plus it is good if you have like a wig cap that's a little close to your natural skin color because once the scalp shows within your, your wig lace, then it's gonna seem like scalp because if you have like a black cap, your scalp is gonna look black with that lace wig. This literally takes like two seconds. I'm gonna be using only one product while installing this wig and y'all gonna see how I do it okay so let's let's really get into it i showed you guys the wig before this is the wig bum 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 another great thing about this wig too is that it doesn't only come with you know two clips it also comes with this like this thing here i don't know what this is it's like an extra sense of security i think this wig is perfect for glueless installs mind you which is probably one of the reasons why i'm only going to be using one product to actually lay this on my head but y'all this wig right here top tier like if you really take care of it top tier and it could last you a while okay okay so i have a mirror like that's directly right here so if you see me looking this way you know i'm looking at my mirror so the lace actually kind of looks a little seamless right now because as I said before, like I definitely did, you know, install this wig before. So it's already pre-customized to the way I want it. 
but let's go ahead and clip this baby back and do what needs to be done i know right now it looks crazy it looks crazy i know let's just trust the process okay as i said before this wig is perfect for glueless installs like grow. i'm only going to be using one product to lay this baby down this is perfect for like a quick one two and go if you're and if, if you're if you're in a rush like this is the perfect wig for it period and that's on what mary had a little land i'm just kind of combing out my edges my pre-made edges okay just gonna cut some loose ends so you can't even see the lace. This is lace. But you can't even see it. Bro. This wig gonna eat. So the product that I'm gonna be using to lay this down is my got to be glue spray. Okay, I'm literally just gonna put it directly on the lace and like let it dry. Obviously, you don't have to use this exact spray. You could literally just use any wig holding spray that will lay down your lace and lay down your wig. But this is the one that I have right now okay so i'm just gonna literally just spray it along the lace that's literally all i'm gonna do i just gotta i'm literally just spraying it all along the lace where wherever i see lace that's just where i'm gonna spray guys when i tell you this is so easy this is so easy like i don't i don't know how to like tell you guys that it's like it's easy i don't know but anyway, I'm just spray along. You know what I'm saying? Spray along the lace. Anywhere you see lace, just spray along. Um, yeah, literally. Like, I already did this side. I already did this side. But um, usually what I would do is have a blow dryer next to me and just blow dry, blow dry, blow dry. Um, my lace while I press it down with this and just press it down press it down press it down but I don't have my blow dryer with like next to me right now so I'm just gonna use this like this cardboard like out of here and just kind of dry it up a little bit and while I'm doing that I'm just gonna go ahead and go into it with my edge brush or the ends of my edge brush and like already I really I already feel it being tacky I already feel it sticking really nicely the way I like it like guys this cannot be any easier like I'm so serious so now that we're done drying up our lace um I'm just gonna kind of comb out where the glue may have stuck to just so it like by the time I style my wig it doesn't have to be like sticky or you know stuck together it could just kind of flow you know but yeah um and then usually what i would do with my lace i usually have a lace powder um, because sometimes with the got to be glue spray it would leave some type of white cast throughout the lace and that doesn't seem cute okay that's not cute you want that seamless lace so what I do is I usually just take a regular powder and I call this like my lace powder just so I could use it for my hair and everything. So I just dab, dab, dab wherever I know the lace is at. I just dab it around that area. Obviously you, can't, you guys can't see it and that's literally the point. The fact that you guys just can't see it, that's the point. You're, you guys are not supposed to see it. <laughs> and now, like, as you can see, I put a little, um, I put a little powder, like, a little along my hairline right there. So what what I do is just I kind of just get my edge brush and I literally just brush it through and it'll come right off guys obviously if you want to use some like water that's fine too but for me I just brush it 
Okay. So yeah. And now, and now for my favorite part, the edges. I love me some edges. So, as I said before, I I installed this wig already, so my edges are already pretty much like pre-made and it's already cut to how I want it. So, yeah, so I'm going to use this same about to be spray. Sometimes I would use mousse and that would be good, but I am working with synthetic hair. This is not real human hair, so the fibers are much thicker and it's not going to stick the way I would like to. So that's why I sometimes use this got to be spray or I just use the yellow got to be glue. I just spray a little bit on my finger and then press it down and I just keep making like a C shape. I'm going to go ahead and style this wig since the wig is now like the lace is now laid flat. I'm going to go ahead and style this and I don't know if you guys would want to see that with me styling this wig. So usually I just like to play around with it. Guys, the lace is giving scalp. The hair is giving voluminous. I'm going to go ahead and style this wig off camera and then when I do it, I'll be coming right back to show you guys the end result. Okay guys, so this is how my hair looks after I kind of styled it a little bit. I wanted to do a half up, half down. Yeah, I might fix it up just a little bit later on, but that is pretty much it for this video. If you guys like it, go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe. I hope this video really helped you guys, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace.